Once we've established some simple jamming techniques, we've done our drills where the defensive backs are facing each other and they've learned the crosshand jamming technique to protect their inside, we're going to stand them up on their feet and try to work everything just from what we've done all along. We put in a good stance, so we're going to make sure Marcus here assumes a good stance. We're going to get an inside alignment and we're going to try to put everything together in this particular phase of teaching our press man-to-man -man coverage. Dustin here is going to be our receiver. Marcus is our defensive back. The football is inside here. The football is inside, so when we're playing man-to-man, -man, we certainly want to protect our inside. We don't want to let the receiver, if we can keep from it, to release inside closer to the ball. So we're going to always take our alignment and press man-to-man -man coverage on the inside half of the body of the receiver. Marcus is going to get in that same good stance that he had just a minute ago. Feet are pretty close together, at least shoulder width or narrower nose over his toes, Z in his knee, and he is going to focus on the inside breastplate of the receiver. His eyes are going to go right here. We, we know that those guys can shake and bake, they can move their head, they can move their feet and everything, but their torso will always go with them wherever they go. So we want to focus here and not get caught up in all the shake and bake moves of their head or their feet or their knees or anything like that. So Marcus is going to focus right here, and we're just simply going to practice real quick the transition part of press man to man. So when the receiver releases outside, boom, there goes Marcus's jam stop right there. Just like we practice, that inside hand's coming up, trying to get some meat on his body here. We're trying to get his chest, breastplate, ribs, anything we can get a hold of to, number one, get in position to play the route. Number two, try to reroute the receiver. And notice here a good coaching point here. Marcus has opened up. He's a little bit wide, but certainly we want to protect by alignment and by this hand the receiver being able to release inside and get across our face. We'll show you a drill here in a minute what we do in case that does happen. But let's get back in that position here. All right, Marcus gets in a great stance, focusing on the guy's torso on his inside number. Ready, go. Cross hand jam right here. We're blocking. Notice Marcus's hips. They're not completely open to the sideline, but yet he is ready to transition with the receiver. When the receiver gets down the sideline, we're going to force him out, and we're going to try to get in trail technique right there. So that's what we're teaching in this phase. We'll get a couple of other guys up here and we'll try it again. A lot of our younger quarterbacks, they'll want to get in here and turn their hips inside, which is not all bad because you're pretty much relying on an outside release. You'll find the guys as they become more comfortable, become a little bit more fluid, they'll get more of a square stance. That way they have the ability to move outside or inside. So Sam, let's get you in a good stance here. Good stance, hands in the ready position. Focus on that inside number. Ready, go, boom, right there. We've got to transition that leg. See, we don't want to get our feet crossed. So here's what I'm looking for. Let's rewind that. Right here, we're going to transition, open and drop our outside foot. Here we go. Ready, go. Boom, there we go right there. And again, this is good position, which what you've got to realize is those great receivers can come back across, so we really want to block here. We want to have our body in position to keep the receiver from releasing around us. And now we'll go ahead and transition out. And we'll get in trail position right here, trying to work hip to hip. And that's what we call our transition drill. Now we're going to put it together and uh, go ahead and let the receiver release off the ground or off the ball in the next phase of our teaching.